How much are you going down to? 15. Okay, we got all the wheels aired down on both of our vehicles. Now it's time to hit the road. Okay, so we've been driving for about an hour. We just took a little stop, let the Jeeps cool down a bit. We're like cruising pretty good, but I just wanted to show you guys the scenery because this, this is number one reason why I think British Columbia is the most beautiful place in the whole entire world. I don't know if you guys can see right down there where my finger's pointing. That's the lake we're going to. But yeah, we've been driving about an hour and a bit. This, I'm pretty sure it's about 30 kilometers and we're in about 28. So we're basically right there. And I was looking at maps last night and this lake is way bigger than I thought. And I was looking to see if you're even allowed to put like little boats on it. And it doesn't have a size restriction. So that means you could put like a wake setter on this thing if you really wanted to. But I think like the unpaved, unleveled ground probably deters people from bringing a $100,000 boat up here. Oh no, it is so busy here. I didn't think it'd be this busy. It is so busy. I thought it was like a weekday, there's not gonna be that many people. I didn't think, I think there was gonna be like two, maybe three other groups. Yeah. This thing is packed, I don't even think there's space for us. No. That's not cool. What happens if we keep going down the road? Uh, there's a landslide. Really? Yeah. Okay, so right now it's like a Thursday afternoon and we thought we would be sneaky coming here and getting a spot in the week because this place does get a little busy on the weekends, but it's packed. So me and Nick and I are just trying to find a spot. There's some guy who looks like he has two spots. That's not what we want. Okay, so after doing a little bit of walking around, I think me and Nikolai found, oh, focus, 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 there it is. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we found one of the best spots in the whole entire place. This place is like literally on the beach. Okay, this is our spot. So there's my Jeep right behind. And then right behind me is Nikolai's. That, that is ideal. That is super nice. So I'm gonna be sleeping in the back and then out looking the water. So I'm not really sure what we're gonna be doing with this video. It's just me and Nikolai wanted to go camping. So I just thought I'd bring the camera along. Nikolai brought his drone. So we're gonna be getting some cool drone shots of maybe the campsite, the water. Also brought two fishing rods. So me and Nikolai can do that. And then maybe, just maybe, Apparently the wa this water is glacier water, so can't guarantee that we're gonna go in, but I do have the GoPro, so we can probably get some cool shots like that. Got all the buns for the grease missiles. We're <laughs> it's gonna be a good weekend. Building up the air mattress. I love it. Nikolai got some like fancy new one where it self inflates. I like the $18 one from Walmart. Okay, Nikolai's got his stuff all set up. And he has these cool like, I don't even know, like insulated covers for the windows, like walkouts. Like, look at his Jeep. He has it on every single window. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, this is gonna be so dark. My fish Jeep's bowl. just one big fishbowl, exactly. Yeah, like, I'm gonna be waking up at the ass crack of dawn. It's gonna be brutal. But I got his fishing rod set up, and I got my fishing rod set up. So maybe we'll go stand in the water waist deep at, I don't know, sunset time. Try and catch some dinner. All right, we didn't catch anything, but that's okay. Still a beautiful night, so we might do a little bit more fishing later. It's only like, what, six o'clock? 6.20, so we still have a lot of daytime. Nikolai's just gonna send the drone up. Hopefully we get some cool shots.
Okay, so the water's a little bit too cold, so we can't really go swimming right now. We definitely might go in the morning, but even to just go and try and stand out there knee deep and then just try and fish, that was like hard enough. Like our knees felt like they were falling off. We have such a good spot. Like we are literally right on the beach. Like this is just crazy, man. I'm gonna try and sleep with the window open. If the mosquitoes get too bad, then I'll definitely close it. But like, that's my bed. And then I get to wake up to this view. The boy Nikolai, he hooked up. Got us some nice steaks, a little pasta action. Absolutely nothing wrong with this. All right, it's the morning time now. Just finished brushing my teeth. I'm kind of packing up my Jeep. Nikolai, I think he's cooking up some hot dogs. Hey, did the water come up for some reason? The water rose a bit. Which is weird because it's like a lake, a non-tidal lake. So my air mattress, it's slightly too small for the Jeep. So you kind of have to under inflate it to make it fit. And then when you get on top and it's like fully seated in where it needs to be, then it usually kind of fixes itself, puts all the air where it needs to be. I never had enough. So my hips and my ribs are like on like the ground and like the seat hinges the whole entire night. So that wasn't ideal. And then I also woke up at like three, five and seven, just cause I was so cold. And what I do is I just hit my key and like I just do remote start and then it gets the heat going and it runs it for 10 minutes. I fall back asleep and the Jeep turns off. I think it has a limit of doing that twice because at three o'clock and five o'clock it was fine. Seven o'clock it was cold. I don't know what it got down to. Probably never got too cold, but the problem is I wasn't prepared for it. I had a thin sleeping bag and I slept in a pair of shorts and my t-shirt. So I never had a hoodie. I never had any of that blanket stuff. Like Nikolai, he has like a heated blanket. like. I am not prepared for that. But yeah, this is our morning this morning. Like this is, like the water is like glass. Okay, so we tried a little bit more fishing this morning. That didn't work. I guess we just started too late and fish like to bite in the morning. So we're just gonna eat and then Nikolai brought a shotgun. So we're gonna go try that. I haven't shot a gun before, so I'm actually quite excited to give it a go. It does scare me a little bit, but I don't know. Nikolai's a good coach, I guess. Okay, dude, outside of my bun toasted. This guy's toasting the outside of the buns like crazy. Cut it in half. Now try to open it, it's always possible. Okay. Now you just ruined that one. That's how I want mine. Okay. I want the inside toast. Oh, it it already is, look, it already is. What do you mean it already is? You got the hot dog holder? That's that's the holster for that thing. You gotta holster your dogs if you're not using them. Okay, so we're driving out right now and it is so much busier than it was yesterday. Like spots that aren't even like real spots, people are still setting it up. The problem is, is you drive 33 kilometers to get here and you don't really want to turn back. So you kind of just need to find a spot. Not that bad. Oh, Jesus. Come this way. Definitely a little nerve wracking, I'll tell you that. So I haven't been filming anything. It's just like a lot of it's like that and definitely need two hands on the steering wheels because some of it is like really steep and I'd rather survive and not get the shot then get the shot but be dead and can't post it because that's a lose-lose situation both ways but this is just so steep this is this is so cool we made it definitely my heart is definitely racing like this it's honestly always so scary because especially i just lifted my jeep so i put a lot of trust in it it held up but it's really making me need to fix the drive shaft i need to get a longer one and then something's wrong with my sway bars but but getting to do this stuff really makes me want to have a good push to buying that stuff but this view is just insane this guy looks so ready he's got the earmuffs hey do you have a pair of muffs for me or what nope. all right dude i'm getting really nervous i'll tell you that right now my heart is like pounding all right you know what there's probably some people that want to know what you got so what what, what gun is that a Remington 870 tactical and then I just put a flashlight on there for bears or whatever at night if I do have to go out with it and then that's pretty much it. God, 
That's so cool, man. I don't even know what this choke's called. This is just a, like a door breacher, basically, for like slamming into the lock and then blow it up. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's that's what cool. this is for. So this is our backstop. We have to shoot against the mountain and there's absolutely nothing behind it. Like nothing. So we don't have to worry. Nikolai has like maps and stuff and there's no trails back there. So like that's the number one worry. You also have to be 400 meters off trail. We're definitely 400 meters off trail. So always treat it like it's loaded. Okay. Okay. Don't ever point at anyone. Yeah. Only ever point at that direction or straight up or straight into the ground. Okay. Okay. Don't ever point at yourself or anyone else. This is your safety. Okay. See that's red. That means it's hot. Pretty much it. Racket. Point where you're going to go. Make sure you push this. Bury it into your shoulder. Into your shoulder. Right into that cup. Yeah. Always keep your finger here. Bird shot first. Which one's the least loudest? This one. All right, plug my ears. Let me get the camera set up. You guys are in for a treat. Give her! That one wasn't too bad. I had my ears plugged, it wasn't too loud. This is also bird shot. Yeah. Once we get up to buck, it's about twice as loud. Okay, and now rack it. And then forward again. That was intense. Like, I wasn't expecting to be like that. My hands are so sweaty from that. I don't even know what to say. Like, that's... That was, that was cool. That was really cool. They call me SEAL Team 6, baby. Okay, so that's what we were shooting. Okay. That's just bird shot. Yeah. This is a slug. Has a lot more power, as you can see. Yeah. So the bronze is all the gunpowder. Basically, yeah. And then the silver is all the gunpowder. That is... And then there's a little bit of a watt in here. And then there's just one big... Slug. Bas basically slug. That's crazy. And then this is buckshot. So the pellets are a little bit bigger than these ones. Yeah. And this is a three inch. So if okay. you can see the difference, this is two and three quarter, this is three inch. You can see the difference yeah, in length. It's a little bit longer. This has a lot more power, oh. even though this is more gunpowder. So I think I'm just gonna leave it there. Like I'm not much of a gun guy. I like my 240s nice and slow. That's about it. <laughs> like, like that's cool. I can say I've shot a gun now and I'm happy with that. And maybe if someone hands me, maybe not just someone hands me a gun, but if I'm out again and Nick has his gun, I'll impress the boys with some expert markmanship with the bird shots, but I can't see myself stepping up into the buck and the slugs. I just can't do it. So I know this isn't my regular style video where I'm working on cars or doing something like that, but I had a lot of fun doing this. It's kind of fun just bringing the camera along for my adventures. And I see a lot of you guys commenting saying like you would like that. So I'm turning, hold on. So now that I actually did it, let me know down in the comments how you guys liked it. Because if you guys actually really liked it, then I could totally see myself doing this more because I like to go do adventures. And if you guys like seeing what I do, then I'll film it. It's not a problem. I just want to put out content that you guys care about. I don't want to spend the whole day filming and then nobody really cares. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys thought. And that concludes this video. So I hope you guys like it. And if you're still here, thank you very much. I hope to see you guys next time and I'll see you later.